What's going on everybody? This is Maji and Jay and what we got here today is the unboxing of a totally different product that I've never done before. This is going to be my first action camera. And here we can see that I got it from newfrog.com here from the package. We can see by the middle that it does say new frog and I chose the free shipping method. It took about 10 days to arrive. So with that being said, this is going to be the replica of the SJ Cam SJ4000. We know that that camera goes for about 150 to 180 here in the USA. But again, this company does ship very fast. This is also my first time ordering from newfrog.com. So with that being said, let's go ahead and unbox this baby and see what's inside of the package. Okay, and here we have the box itself. I've seen many reviews about this camera and I became extremely excited. Now this is also going to be the replica of the GoPro Hero 3, but not the Hero 4. We know that the Hero 4 is capable of recording in 4K. This is only going to be 1080p and here from the back we have all the specifications. You guys can feel free to read them. Let's check and see what we got inside. I can already see the camera itself and it is going to have the waterproof case for it. Which is also a plus. We know that the GoPro Hero 3 does not come with those accessories. And here we have some zip ties. We also have here some adhesive. This is for another type of mount. We got here the wall charger. This is going to be the European wall charger. We also got in here another type of mount, guys. I really got to get to this and check what all these accessories are for. I'm pretty sure that this is going to be for different type of mounts. As we can see here, this looks like it could be maybe for a car, a helmet, or something of that kind. We also see here some more mounts and more mounts all over the place, guys. This is so that you can hook it up to many different accessories. I think this is going to be for a tripod, as we can see right there. We also have here some clips and whatnot. We see here also another type of mount. I think this is the one that's going to go for the uh, mount on the quadcopter, the Cheerson CX-20, which we're going to test it today. And we also have here the, I think this is going to be also some belts to attach it to a gimbal. We have the waterproof casing. This is part of it. I think that the other pieces are going to be somewhere in here, maybe with a combination of other parts. We're not sure guys, as you can see, it comes with many of them of different kinds. And I believe in my opinion for $107 plus free shipping, it's absolutely amazing. And we can see here we have a cleaning cloth as well, which is great so that you can wipe down the lens. So here we can see the waterproof case and I'm gonna give you a 360 view around the camera so that you guys can see how similar this is to the SJ4000. And the reason that I say that this could be a clone is because we know that the SJ Cam does have the logo down here, at least for the new manufacturer units. And also New Frog did not specify a brand for this device, so I have the reasons to believe that this is a replica. And let me see how I can get it out of here. To remove the case, you had to move this little plastic piece towards the right, and then this is going to lift. There we go. And here we have the camera itself. Let's go ahead and take it out of this casing. Okay guys, and here we have the camera itself. And once again, this is the waterproof case, which is great that it came with. And here we have the action camera on the front here. We're gonna have the power button. We also have the lens here on the front. It is an HD or 4HD 1080p camera. On the left side, we're gonna have some rockers here. I think this is to uh, select menus and whatnot. On the back here, we have a very tiny display. It looks like it's a 1.5 inch display on the back. On the left side, we can see we have some connectors here. I think one of them is gonna be for the micro HDMI and the other one is gonna be the charging slash data port. Now this little piece at the bottom, I had a hard time getting it removed. I don't know what this is for guys, but I'll be showing you that later on after we test it at the park. And I can already say that it is extremely light. I don't know if the original GoPro Hero 3 is this light and also the original SJ Cam. Now, again, I'm not sure if this is going to be the replica. We see we don't have also any Wi-Fi indication letting us know that this is the Wi-Fi model. So now let's go ahead and test it on the Cheerson CX-20. All right, everybody, here we are at the park already and it is a beautiful day in Florida. We're gonna be testing the SJ, SJ4000 that I purchased from newfrog.com and I also got the JVC Addiction XA2 from a local pawn shop store and I paid $100, that way we have something to compare. Where it says HD 1080p, this is the power button. First you press it to power on and then to record after it says welcome and you see uh, the image here on the screen, all we do is press the shutter button here at the very bottom and that's going to start recording.
right, so now we have the JVC Addiction XA2. This is the one that I bought from the pawn shop. And to record, all you do is, uh, first of all, of course, you have to power on, and then you press this button, and it's gonna be recording. It's very simple to do. So let's get started. All right guys, and here we have the side-by-side -side comparison between the SJ4000 and the JVC Addiction XA2. If we can compare that both of them have excellent quality. Now I do prefer the colors of the SJ4000 as they look more realistic, as you guys can see. And now another thing is that on the JVC, the corners are a little bit curved out. I thought at first that it was going to be a setting, but it happens to be that it is not a setting and that's the way the camera is. So on the comment section down below, I want you guys to tell me which one you think is better. Again, in my personal opinion, I prefer the SJ4000 as I think that it does have much better quality when it comes to the real colors of the video, the saturation, and even the stabilization. Alrighty guys, and that's going to conclude the testing of the SJ4000. And as you guys saw, it is performing very well. Also, I want to mention that here on the left side, we're going to have the microphone together with the micro SD card slot. On the right side, uh, we can see here we have this little tiny speaker. And then on the bottom, we're going to have a 900 milliamp battery, which lasted the whole day, basically. I did a lot of testing, including the one-to-one -one testing uh, with the JVC Addiction. And this camera is also very nice, but we know that the original price for this is going to be $299 if you buy it brand new. Now, I was able to get it at a very good price for $100 at my local pawn shop, so I'm very happy with it. The only thing I didn't like is that on the recording, on the edges, you guys saw that it curves out a little bit, and for that reason, I think I might just stay uh, with the SJ4000. Now, I also concluded that this is the original product, and the reason I say that is because after doing some research, I saw that the replica has black screws, and there's many differences around the casing, and this one, as you guys can see, has chrome screws. And after doing the comparison uh, with photos and whatnot, this is, in fact, the original, and it's not going to be the replica. Also, from the box, there are going to be some differences, especially on the word resistant. On the replica, it's going to be misspelled, and also on the back here, we can see this little logo for the bicycle is going to be different different on the replica as well and you guys can search it and you're going to see that in fact this is the original product now i want to show you guys some basic functions about this little action cam to power on we know that we had to press here in the front button we're going to see the welcome logo and on default it's going to be on recording mode up to 1080p to take pictures all you have to do is tap it once and it's going to be on 12 megapixels automatically to shoot the picture all you hit is okay and as you guys can see it shoot the picture to view it you tap it once more and you can view uh, pretty much all the pictures, but you cannot play videos. If you tap on it one more time, you can see here we have the settings and it's gonna give you many settings as you guys can see. First of all, we have the resolution of the videos. You can go once again up to 1080p the maximum. To go back, you hit okay. We also have the cycle mode or cycle record. And basically what that is, is when you press on it, 
you can hide your videos to where it's going to automatically stop and re continue recording let's say you can choose after three minutes five minutes ten minutes so every time your video recording reaches that time it's going to stop and continue a new video which is a great feature if you go back once we can see we have the hdr mode we have the motion detection mode and i'm just going to scroll down so that you guys can see the different options that we have here it is a very nice camera especially for 107 dollars i think it's very competitive with many others like the gopro hero 3 and also great cameras like the jvc addiction this is going to be very competitive out there so with that being said guys i think that's going to conclude the video i went through everything about this device but if you guys do have any questions don't forget to comment down below please like the video subscribe for more thanks for watching and have a good one